back welcome back to Yolanda's journaling today is a very chillax day like we're not doing too much but we do need to go to the bookstore because I would like to start the chestnut spring series and that's all I just want to go to the bookstore to buy book one and two of the chestnut spring series that's really it and again I got that one back there with me today hey so we're gonna go to um I think we're gonna go to books a million this time and we're gonna get book one and book two of the chestnut spring series um I would like to start reading like especially after I read my TBR for March I would like to start reading just like sets of series books because I have so many and like I really need to get them off my shelf and read them and I don't know like lately I've been in that series type vibe so I know I have Good Girls Got to Murder that I started I only read book one I need to continue the series there and I have the Shatter Me series and I think I have like all of the books for the Shatter Me series and I started reading Shatter Me but at that particular time I think it was like a kind of like a DL for me so I said I was gonna put it up and come back to it a little later um what other series do I have I don't know if it's called the Kingmaker series y'all but it's the Kennedy Ryan with the Kingmaker the Rainmaker and Queen Move and the hook series I have that series I only read like one book of that what other series do I have on my shelf I have like a couple of series books that I really would like to get into and I think well yeah you know love games king of pride that series I have the brutal brutal prince series so I have a lot of different series of books at my home on my bookshelves on my book tables on my book carts that I just really need to start reading again so today let's just go and get a series another series book from books a million and um then just join us for whatever else that we do today which I would like to go to the flea market see what they have there and of course we will have to go and get something to eat not sure where we are going for that so we have a little eventful day today that we would like for you guys to join us on and Yolanda's journaling posts a vlog twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday so if you're not subscribed to Yolanda's journaling's channel you are missing out on everything about books so make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I do a lot of different things there as well. And let's just get this day started. The slow day, the common, the night will unfold. Never thought that I would be traveling this road. I have a book written by this author. I have not read the book yet though, but I hear very, very good things about this book. Um, I think the book that I have is something Oakland or something like that. I've been seeing this one on everybody's channel, but I don't know if I want to try it yet. That's how you feel about the bookstore. Huh? I seen um, a girl, lady that I follow, Shaughnessy. I seen her with this book on her last book blog. She was talking about this book, Saying You Swear by Megan Brandy. And I had this book for the longest time. I don't know anything about this author and I have never like seen this author. This is the book that I was talking about that I seen I was just looking at Shaughnessy's vlog this morning and this book right here was in that vlog. It's Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. 
I have never seen this author. I've never like heard of this author. And if you look at like the pages, like it has a lot of page breaks in it. So like it's a conversation with Yeah, people. like it's a conversation going on. Even so, when there's conversations though, I feel like there still should be page breaks. Cause there should be page breaks like of them thinking. The issue, it still should be in parentheses of what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. It's it like in parentheses, but in italics. But look at the cover, y'all. Just look at that cover. Like, who would not want to buy this book? Like, the cover is just so pretty. But this is not what I came in here for. Let me show you what I came in here for. So let me look up um, the LC Silver's Chestnut Series books and see like which one is book, you know, like the what order does the series go in. Okay, so it looks like powerless. So it looks like it's powerless, heartless, restless, hopeless, and flawless. So book one is powerless and book two is heartless. Oh, the whole series just sitting right here. Yeah. This is the new song of the week. I love this song so much. And it's called Lose Control. It's called Lose Control by Te Oh, it's called Lose Control by Teddy C. Waiting for the flood. This, this look like a it look like a queer book, don't it? It is, it is, it is, it is. So this is a queer book? Yes. And it looks interesting books. though. Yeah, I love to I love to read queer books too. Like Are I we on boy ones though. Penelope Douglas, she's a good author too. I've heard about The Birthday Girl, um, but I just, I've never gotten that book to read it. But I have heard about The Birthday Girl and I have some Penelope Douglas books, but I haven't actually read them all yet. But guys, this is what we came in here to get. This right here is just a bonus, but I wanted to do the Elsie Silver series. And these are the first two in the Elsie series. Uh, silver series so I'm gonna pick up powerless and I'm gonna pick up heartless and um, I'm gonna see how I like those two books and then if I really like those two books then I will pick up the other books in the series and I think it's like five books in the series so I'm excited to actually start getting in this series because I've been wanting to for a long time always heard good things about it but I just did not do it so I'm doing it today they said all her books are like 10 out of 10s, but people really like this book. Like, they they really like this book. So it's like, it's a choice out of this book and this book. one. So pick them up and tell me which one I should get. This one? Cause she was, well, you was way more excited about this one than that one. <sighs> Oh, Faith, I want both of them. That's four books. So you said you was only coming here for two. I only came in here for so two. That's, you only get one bonus. You get eight bonuses any other time. It's one bonus today, and it's this one. So Let's go. There go again. See, look, that's a sign, Mom. It's there again. Where is the one? Right there. Oh, yeah. That's and here it is again, y'all. So she said this is a sign that I need to get this book. After. I love after. See, now, I don't have that one no i think that's like one of the newer ones and i don't have that one but i do have some of the anna todd books on my shelf oh i don't okay. think i got rid of them like the main ones that i had got rid of was um i think i got i think they in that in those books in the back seat 
the bridge tents i'm getting rid of that because like i don't want to read that and then um twilight i love twilight just to let y'all know but i don't i like After it too fail. but i don't want to read the book and a tie yeah and a tie do hmm and a tie do Um, let me see this book. Y'all, turn it over, Faith. See that right there? That is a bit pet peeve of mine. Like, I cannot stand for the corners of a book to be turned up. So we will have to go and find us another book. Boom. Here you go. First of all. <laughs> And see, and this right here is what I was talking How about. How was this one sitting right there? This is the series that I have. Oh, by shot. her, by Kennedy Ryan. It's the long shot, the hook shot, the block shot. I have read the long shot, and it is like a ten out of ten. It has triggers in it though, and the reason why I say that it has triggers in it is because like it has a lot of different things like domestic violence, physical and mental abuse of you know a particular person in that book so anyone if y'all want to read kennedy ryan's books and you read long shot i don't know about hook shot and block shot yet because i haven't read them yet but i have read long shot and it does have some triggers in it so just so you guys know i have read this book i read this book it was a library book um and i looked at i read it on audio and it was good and i did know that they had hears to us but i did not know i was going to find it in here today it's about being an author so this one is it says ben survived freshman year of college but he feels more stuck than ever an author is back in new york city for the first time in two years ready to take the theater world by storm as the world's best intern to the assistant of an off-broadway director it is a series and they're all Faith. Now this looks like your speed. Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes. I like Five Nights at Freddy's, but I never got into it. Franny. Or that's not Franny. I don't know who this is. Oh, this is that man that's in the ball pit. I don't know where Franny at. Or not Franny, but Vandy. Vandy so you know about him. those books up there? Mm-hmm. This is uh the one. He's in the ball pit. I don't know who all of these are. I know that's that's the messed up Bonnie. That's where's Freddy? That's Freddy. Oh, I didn't know you know about Five Nights at Freddy. You ain't, I ain't never heard you talk about. It. Well, Faith, that's the whole set right there. Mm -hmm. One through, one through. This is one through four. And then look down there. Well, this oh, that's just says 11, 10, 11. That's ten, eleven. That's ten, eleven. But yeah, I've seen. That is Bonnie. Freddie and Chica. Mm -hmm. This is like a messed up, a real messed up Freddy. That is, oh, that looks like Vanny. Oh, it's Scott. All of these are basically like, well, Freddy, I don't know which one. I think it was Bonnie it started off with. I don't know which exactly one it was that it started off with. But it's a man and he made animatronics and he had kids. And one of his kids is one of his kids. It was a little boy, and he and his friend and his he had a son, an older son, and then a daughter. The man. Can we see the book? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this. He had a son, a smaller son, an older son, and then a daughter. And the older son with his friends would mess with the younger son, and they put him in the animatronic. And the boy was crying, and so when the animatronic get wet, it self destruct like it shuts down, and it mm -hmm. squeezes itself together to like dry out, I guess. And it squeezed the boy until he died. What? And then, and then, so the spirits of the kids or of the kid was in that doll or in the animatronic, and then he walks. They walk around at night and kill people, kill kids. So it's just kids. Yes, it's literally kids killing kids because they got killed. And then Bonnie is the man because the man got into the suit. Okay, so which one? Bonnie is, okay, so let me show you. 
Okay, go. okay so this is the man. He in this suit is the man that he made all the suits. He got killed in his own suit. I don't exactly know who are in these two because I never got to that part yet. But I know that his little girl is in one of the little little animatronics that would help other kids, and it would like. It had a little compartment where it would give stuff out, like candy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that one, it malfunctioned. And the daughter was standing in front of it. And it took the daughter in. Like, because it, gra <laughs> it grabbed stuff, too. And so it grabbed the and daughter so inside the, of it. So it's the little bear thingy right there? He is, like, the main one. Because it's Five Nights at Freddy's. So and who Freddy's is the was very first? See, but that's, he's the very first Freddy. Yes, the all brown Freddy is the very first Freddy, but there's a bunch of versions to Freddy. Mm -hmm. Like there's a straight animatronic, there's a straight animatronic no cover Freddy. There's so all, all of them are Freddy. Like, they just look a little different or something. All of them aren't Freddy though, cause he made a bunch of them. But oh. cause like that's Bonnie, that's Freddy, that's Chica. Mm -hmm. They all are like. It's like a band. It's Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, and then there's a, there's some other ones. I forgot their names, but it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. It was a pizza. It's a, it was a pizza place. So Faith, what? Where did this one come in at? You don't know about that? Mm -mm. Gun drop, gum drop, angel. Mm -mm. I think these are like ones that people are not that he's now making up. But mm -hmm. the original Five Nights at Freddy's was just five. It's literally like five animatronics. Oh, okay. And they all have a pizzeria. Mm -hmm. It's a pizzeria. And they would play on the stage. Like singing and stuff. And backstage kids would stay. When they kids stay and they don't go home. They walk around and find a kid and kill the kid. This, so this is, that one is, is that novels. the first one? What, which one is that? Um, is, I believe say? this is the the silver eyes. I think this is the one telling about what happened. And see, that's a see. I, no, I like that with all the animatronics and like who's in which animatronic. Mm -hmm. Cause it's really those animatronics aren't. See how he's in so it. So what about this one right here? That look like a book book. Wait, so the this one right guy? here is a that's a graphic novel. That one right there is a graphic novel too. Look like. Do that one. That look like it's a graphic novel as well. Hold on one second. Yes, this yeah. is. I might be doing Five Nights of Freddy to add to my graphic novels, people. Yep. These ain't no joke, though. These are. Yoda's so cute. Girl, that thing is not cute. Yes, him is. Really? Yes, baby Yoda is cute. His eyes are creepy. But baby Yoda is cute. That one's cute. It's a baby. Groot. I hear a lot of good things about this series right here, too. I need to start reading it. Pop-ups or whatever they call. That's a big pop-up. Hold on. Ooh. Why them big at the bottom? They are big down there, ain't they? I don't see nobody I like. I don't know what you're getting. I don't see nobody I like. All these are... <gasps> Daisy Duck. Aww. That's cute. Daisy's cute. That's the only one I see that I like. This is pretty. I've this? heard about that book. Natural people, normal people. But I don't know what the ratings is I've heard about. And this right here is one that I wanted to try to say. I seen this one somewhere. I think I seen it on um somebody said something about this book and I wanted to try it. It's called Educated. Oh, that's what it is. It's a memoir. Okay. 
this oh I, that that's really pretty to me how it literally says Frank this journal and then the book looks like an actual journal mm -hmm. like tear this journal closed and mail it like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like that's I like that I like stuff like that I feel like this is kind that's of pretty, pretty much a memoir um table too see because that's a memoir that's a memoir but I guess they got like a, a variety of different things on it. It's a memoir. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. to show you guys something that I got in the mail I ordered it not too long ago and it actually came today and it's my phone case you see how it has Yolanda RRT at the bottom so I was very excited when I looked in the mailbox and it was actually here I just think it's so cute Y'all, it looks like an old library card. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> I anyway, didn't get it at first. Anyway, guys, so we're back home and we want to give you guys a book haul on the books that I bought from BAM today. So the goal was to go in and only buy two books, which eight. was the two books from the Elsie Silver series which is a chestnut spring series but there were two other books that I saw that I just could not leave in the store I just could not leave them in the store so we will get started with the chestnut spring series so I did get book one and book two of the chestnut spring series so I got powerless by LC Silver and it says uh, to Jasper's fans he's a, a handsome talented hockey heartthrob on TV but to Sloan he's always been the last boy with the sad eyes the lost boy with the sad eyes and a heart of gold the man she loved in secret all her life 
So when her life falls apart on the day she's supposed to marry someone else, it only makes sense that he's the one to swoop in and save her. And when his world comes crushing down around him, she's there to return the favor. So it's like a light fluffy read to me. Um, and I just like those kind of books. But this is, I think this is the book one to the Chestnut Spring series. And this is book two to the Chestnut Spring series, which is Heartless by Elsie Silver. And this one is about Caden as a 13, as 13 years older than Walla Grant. And he barely looks her way, even though she's leaving his house for the summer. That is until she's she gets him into the hot tub one night for a game of truth or dare then all bets are off and so are their clothes <laughs> now this is this right here seem like it got spice and smut in it so this is something like one like this should not read so kaden is gruff and a little rough around the edges but broad shoulders ranchers with calluses hands and filthy mouths are this country i mean this city girl so who is she to resist but her heart still but her heart says this forever her contract says this agreement arrangement is only for two weeks but her heart says this forever so y'all i think this series might be pretty good like i i've been wanting to get this series but every time i go in the bookstore to get it i'm like mm, i don't know if i want to get this, this series now i must say i don't really too much care about the covers that they have now i've seen the old covers of this series and i really think that they are cute um and i got book one and book two of the series and the new cover so most likely i'm gonna get the whole series in the same cover which but i wish i could have found them in the original cover um from the get-go but it's okay so we got heartless by lc silver and we also got powerless by lc silver which is book one and book two of the chestnut spring series and i've been trying to hold out from getting this book but I've been hearing just so much about this book. Like they say it's a, a 20 out of 10. Shaughnessy talks about this book like highly. Bethany, I think she's reading this book or she didn't talk about this book. Um, Alex talk about this book. Like so many people that I follow talk about this book. So I went in there and I didn't get it one day. I got some other books. But today when I got in there, I was like, I got to get this Kennedy Ryan book. So it's her new book. This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. And I'm going to read the back of it for you, even though I know y'all probably have read it, seen it, heard it a thousand times, but I want to read the back of it to you guys. So it says, addictively delicious, which is, that's what Tia Williams says, and y'all know Tia Williams, like she writes some damn good books too. So it says, she's a woman who wants more and knows she deserves it. Um, so that... Barnes has her life all planned out. Hold on, y'all. That my dad. So dad Barnes has her life all planned out because of course she does. She plans everything. She fixes everything. She's never met a party she couldn't host or a charge she couldn't lead. But none of her varied talents, talents help when the life she built with the man who was supposed to be her forever goes poof in the cloud of betrayal and disillusion. Oh God. There's no time to grieve. <clears throat> She's too busy keeping a roof over her daughter's head and found food on the table. And in the process of saving them all, so dad rediscovers herself from the ashes of life burnt to the ground, something bold and new can rise. But when Judah Cross, bright single dad, an absolute last man she won't but can't seem to resist, enters the picture. She can she trust him? Can she trust herself? After all she's lost and found, is she brave enough to take a risk for what could be? Hmm. 
y'all i got i do have on my um bookshelf before i let go by kennedy ryan um i need to read the back of that book because i don't know it it kind of like puts me in the mind of that book like is this book like a spinoff from before i let go um uh, let me know down in the comments the ones that know like is this a spinoff of that book um sb crosby which is an author that i have heard so many different things about but have not gotten any of the books says kennedy ryan knows the secret corridors of human hearts better than um nearly any writer working today so i heard a lot about that guy and i sa crosby i'm hoping that is a guy but anyway i've heard a lot about that author seen a lot of people reading that author's book so i'm gonna have to check out some of their books but this is a contemporary contemporary romance book which is this could be us by kennedy ryan i'm so excited to have this book so y'all this book right here is it's a queer book y'all i love to read queer books because reading queer books they're just so exciting like the plot and the writing is so easy to follow um it has so much dialogue in it like converse like you know it's just like you're just sitting there looking at two people have a conversation and like everywhere they go and i don't know i just really love to read queer books and i got the library book called what if it's us i got that library book from my local library i um downloaded the audio because the audio was really reasonable to download so i downloaded the audio to that book and i listened to that book on audio along with reading that book and i didn't want to put the book down when i couldn't actually have the book in my hand i was listening to it on audio and the authors i mean the narrators of the audio that read um what if it was us oh my god like they made the book so worthwhile so we were in books a million happened to go down the young adult section and guess what i saw Here's to us. Of course, my kids said, you know, no, like you got enough books. You already went over how many books that you say you were going to get. But I was like, I cannot leave this book in the store. And so she was like, so are we putting this one back? And I was like, heck no. Like who puts back a Kennedy Ryan book? Like, no. You see how she looked at me. But still, who puts back a Kennedy Ryan book, right? So, I ended up getting Here's to Us. And it's, of course, again, um, it's about being an author. Um, it says, being survived freshman year of college, but his feelings more stuck than ever. His classes are slugs. His part-time job working with his father is even worse. And his best friend, Dylan, it has been acting weird for weeks ben's only real bright spot is his writing partner mario who's been giving him um a lot of spanish lessons and even more kisses oh lord have mercy okay so mario is in the picture now um it says mario's big hollywood dreams make ben start a, a day a drink starts to dream bigger and the choices he makes now could be the key to reshaping his future so why can't he stop thinking about a certain boy from his past ah! and so okay so Arthur Arthur is the other boy that was in um what if it was us Arthur is back in New York seated for the first time in two years ready to take a theater world by storm as the world's best intern in the assistant of an off-Broadway director. Um, of course, he sucks to be. Of course, it sucks to be spending the summer apart from his sweet, reliable boyfriend Mickey. Y'all, so both of them. Well, it has been two years, but both of them have somebody else in their life now. <laughs> both of them have somebody else in their life now, y'all. This is gonna be good. I cannot wait to read this book. So it says, but he knows their relationship is strong enough to weather the distance. Um, 
which is why it's no big deal when his ex-boyfriend Ben stumbles back into the picture and it's definitely fine that Ben's blissfully happy with some mystery boy first lovers are special and it's way too late for what ifs right y'all I wonder I wonder if Ben and um Arthur gonna get back together like see Arthur's boyfriend obviously is back in wherever he lived at and Arthur is back in New York and Ben happens to still be in New York they got that truck and Ben happens to still be in New York y'all oh my god and both of them have two different boyfriends but ah, and y'all just look like like look at all the dialogue in this book like look at the page breaks like it's just people are obviously having a conversation and i must say like all the queer books that i have read like this is the kind of pages that they have so i guess that's why i also like to read queer books but I also like to read queer books because I mean I'm I'm a romance person. I love contemporary romance. I love just romance books period. So I like to just feel like light and fluffy. You know what I mean? I love thrillers now, but it's just something about a romance book that just makes you just feel all tingly inside. But like I said in the same token, I like to like read those thriller books and be like, oh my god, what is gonna happen next? And you know like you just you know you're a flip you like a chapter or something ahead or whatever or you're like or read a few chapters in the back of the book and you'll be like oh my god y'all that is just what books does to me that is what books does to me this one here i think she likes to read books too because when we're actually in the bookstore y'all she talks very very highly and very good about books but I can't say that I see her reading a book like she'll get books but after she buy the book or whatever like she she never comes back to me and say well mama I'm finished with this book and you know like this is what this book about I think you would really like to read this book like she doesn't do that so I don't know if she gets the books because she likes to get a book or she's actually reading the books I read books. I just read books at night when it's quiet. So you never finish a book? Because like all the books that you have in your room, like... I finish mine. But you like you never told me about the book. Like you never say anything about the books that you read. Um, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't express my books to you because I never really thought you like the kind of books that I like so I never thought you would be interested in what I'm talking about well I mean when I'm doing my vlogs like obviously now you are about to become a big part of the vlogs because you like to go to the bookstores with me and you like to talk about the books in the bookstores with me so whenever I do like my TBRs or like you know the books that I've read or whatever if you would like you're always invited to come on and just talk to them and tell them about the books that you have read okay. is that something you would like to do I like finished people. I finished almost every book that I've bought together except for the recent one that I bought the that's brother. brother so if you finish them then you should just add them to the bookshelf so that like I can read them and then like any other books that's on my bookshelf you are very welcome to read I want to read the but, outsiders again but I, I am a very, very particular person about how my books are handled. So I do not like a raggedy book. I do not like for my covers to be messed up. I do not like for my pages to be messed up. I'm just going to leave my bookmark in the book and put the book back on the shelf when I'm done reading it. Huh? So I don't lose it and so I don't mess it up. Okay. So guys, I think she agreed to actually become a part of some of the vlogs that I do for you guys so y'all down in the comments welcome me and Faith tell her hello tell her welcome to being a part of Yolanda's journaling and sometimes you guys will see her on Sundays and Wednesdays as well within our vlogs so just a little recap 
here's the books that I got today. Is Here's to Us by Becky Alberly and Adam Sylvia. Sylvia, I guess that's how you say it. Of course, Kennedy Ryan, This Could Be Us. And then we got two books from the Chestnut series by Elsie Silver. This one is Powerless. And this one is Heartless. And to my understanding, y'all, those are the first two books in that series. So thank you guys so much for joining us today on our little vloggy vlog on books. And remember, I put up a vlog twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday, mostly at 7. So you guys will have to click on that notification bell. You have to subscribe to my channel. That way you guys will know every time Yolanda's journaling, add a video to YouTube. So again, thank you guys. Bye guys. Bye.